I play a character named Ray Merriman, and when we first meet him, he's uh, just getting out of jail, basically just released from a six-year stint. Uh, he went to jail for robbing banks, um, which ha he got into after he came back from the military from a deployment and basically couldn't find the same kind of excitement in his life that he had overseas and also, you know, uh, couldn't find a good job. And so he ended up uh, going into a life of crime. And one of the jobs had a couple of successful uh, robberies and then one of the jobs went bad. So he ended up in jail for six years. We meet him just as he's getting out <clears throat> and he's reassembling his group of guys and uh, going after a big fish. There's these places where um, our worlds collide and, and we see each other and we're aware of each other. And there's almost a relish and an enjoyment in the being around each other. Uh, from our side, certainly knowing that we're being chased by the best the city has to offer, the best department the city has to offer. Um, and despite the fact that they're on to us, they know where we are and they even possibly know what we're aiming for. Um, that they're not going to get us. And that's, you know, inherent in the character of Merriman is that he wants to take down the biggest thing possible. He doesn't want to do an easy job. He wants to only do the impossible. Um, and I think there's a respect between Big Nick and Merriman. They both, uh, while they're chasing each other and while there's a lot of animosity and, and a lot of macho posturing between them, there's also a lot of respect about how they go about their job and, and their effectiveness as men, basically. They kept us separate from the regulators, and uh, uh, but they would then have, and I don't know if this was intentional, but they would bring them to the training ground around the time we were leaving, um, or you know, vice versa. So we kept having these moments where we'd be passing each other, uh, and so there was a lot of like cold stares and a lot of animosity, a lot of jokes being thrown from long distances. Um, you know, it just bred. I think I think it bred a sort of healthy competition. You know. Uh, where where the uh, the real crux of this movie lives between a, a real face off between my character and Jerry's character and our two teams, you know, and um, so I think for for Jerry and I both to get to have our squads and be separate with them and also have this kind of competition thing of who's who's getting the better training, who's spending more time at the range, who's whatever. Um, it, I think it really did help kind of breed that competition thing in a, in a really good way. So as soon as they see uh, Nick and, and his team get out of the truck, they realize that it's time for them to, to react. So they get out and they brought their entire arsenal with them uh, just for this occasion in case they had to fight their way out. Um, and, you know, it opens up with uh, me shooting uh, the, the saw machine gun, which is just a massive beast of a gun. Um, and it really just kind of lays waste to everything that's, that's uh, in its vicinity. And then, um, and then from there, you see, you see again the military precision as these guys do a center peel down the corridor. And it's just um, they move with military efficiency from car to car to car and, uh, and basically peel off away from the corridor and, and down the street. 